Good run for Dumbarkness. Orsi on that far side pulls it back. And it's whipped just past the post from Joe McKee. And that's been the best chance of the game so far. He applauds the pass, Joe McKee. Could he have done better with the finish, though? That's a good run from Orsi. Nice little step over. And he just rolls it for McKee, hit it first time. One under 21 cap for the keeper. Could be forced into action here. Well, McKee's gone down. Penalty! Joe McKee, the man felled in the box. And there's a booking too. I think he's given it for leading with the arm. And this challenge just coming up. Ferry nods away. It's Conrath with the... He does the have hand a little look. into the face. Yeah, he puts his arm up across his face. Yeah, well. Takes a breath. And puts it away to give John Barton the lead over Cumnick Juniors from the spot. Jamie Barkley in goal, so unlucky, he got a hand to it. Stuart Carswell delighted with that. Another goal for him this season. And it could be a vitally important one as they take the lead against Cumnick. Yeah, it is a hugely important one. And it's the power that gets it beyond Bartley. Added to the conditions. He guesses the right way. But I think Stuart Carswell gets enough power on it to make it that Bartley can't get a strong enough hand on it. All the work to do. Launched forward again. Into the box, it's hit on the volley. It's Brendan Sharp with it. Lashing that one just over. What a start that would have been for Kumnik. An incredible start straight from kickoff. Work it out to right back. Clip diagonal. He's got a lot of time as that ball drops as well and just gets it all wrong. Kumnik. Coming forward again in the second half. It's crossed to the back post. Linus has to deal. Comes to Carl and he slips it under the keeper and scores! Ryan Cornworth, who conceded the penalty in the first half from zero to hero. What a way to make up for your earlier mistake. Ryan Cornworth. What a dangerous ball it is across as well, using the surface. What a ball it is, very difficult. For Linus to deal with, comes up off his hand, claims for a handball. Carnworth wasn't interested in that. Nice, cool finish when it comes in. Just see the ball skidding up. It's a horrible ball to deal with. But what a nice, cool finish from Carnworth. I think Ryan Carnworth was almost caught between... The second half, getting themselves level. And they look a different team in the second half. Willett's crossing in, Buchanan. Dumbarton can't clear, Sharp trying to find Willett again. It drops to Wilson! Goal kick only. Well, that is a sign of how much this game has changed in just seven minutes from the half. Well, suddenly things bouncing for Kumnick. The bodies are getting forward as well. You know, that wasn't happening in the first half. Hands on his hips. He takes a breath. Whips it. Inches wide from Joe McKee. The Cumnick fans behind that goal cheer. That was a lot closer than they'd have wanted. Yeah, he, obviously, see what he's trying. He's, he's been left that, that space. Jordan Moore up against Carswell. He's in behind. Jordan Moore! Whips that one just wide. But that's the threat that the number nine poses. Not sure it is. That tenacity and speed to get beyond them. I thought there it goes for power. Brett Long's quite far off his line. Could he just try and lift it over him? As he comes in advances, he goes for power. He's off the outside of his boot. As we go over the hour mark, he's caught to Veach on the edge of the area. Goes straight at Brett Long by Callan Veach. It's McKee with the corner. McNiff with the header. Drops down to Wallace! Well, that was his first touch too! 
and it's not far away at all. It's a great chance, you know, good movement. And he does wait for it to come down, he doesn't snatch at it. Potentially just leaning back a little bit. Dan McFarlane looks on, cross back in, there's Buchanan! Gregor Buchanan, Captain Fantastic, nods in at the back post to put Tom Barton ahead and possibly break the hearts of Kumnik. And it's the first time he's, he's been given a ball to go and attack. Buchanan, he's found it very tough up against McCausland so far. Barton do really well to keep the ball alive. This far side, it's Ross McLean on the left side. Good player just to stand that up, allow Buchanan to go and attack it. He gets up so well. Jamie Wilson not happy. He thought Buchanan had fouled him. I think it was probably just a strong aerial challenge. And he's normally the man scoring the headers at the back post. He's crossing it now. That's where he puts it. Slicked on. Just wide. That's not far away at all. I think it might be Gregory Ferry with the flick towards goal. Launch it long, Buchanan wrestling, it's flicked on. It was Boyd with the header. I think that was Jordan Moore again, wrestling with Gregor Buchanan. Boyd flicking on. Three minutes of added time to be played here. And there could be another late goal. It's Gray round the keeper. And Finlay Gray makes sure Dumbarton will head to the third round, ending Kumnik's dreams of cut progression. A chance from nothing to break the hearts of the junior side. Such composure from Gray to round the keeper. A cruel blow to the team from Townhead Park. But in the end, Dumbarton will cruise in to the third round of the Scottish Cup. Yeah, a good start to the game. A bit quieter towards the middle and end, but he's, he's ended it very well.